Hi there, my name is Megan and today we're going to talk about the proper donning and doffing of your radiology PPE. So Jess, my coworker here, is going to demonstrate how to put on the gear and then we'll talk about taking the gear off and the proper way to store it as well. So I'm already wearing most of my personal protective equipment. So what this is, is I have a, an apron here which is lead lined and I'm wearing a thyroid shield, which is also lead line that is protecting my thyroid. And then what I don't have on yet, but what I will put on before taking any radiographs are um, lead gloves. So there's a few different um, styles of lead gloves that clinics may choose to order. We, we have different styles here as well. The ones that seem to be easier to manipulate and hold paws through are kind of in mitten form. There are holes in the gloves that you can stick your fingers out to get better grips from, but we're gonna talk about why having your fingers out of these holes is not safe and it's not protecting your fingers even though the rest of your hand is actually in the glove. So, first thing that we gotta do is get our aprons on. So the aprons have um, straps that go kind of around your back and they cross behind your back like this. And then the ones that we have stick down kind of high on the thigh there. So the next thing that happens is a thyroid shield. Very good. There is going to be a little bit of space here between the thyroid shield and the apron. This is pretty normal. So another really important part of your PPE is going to be your dosimetry badge. So dosimetry badges measure how much radiation you're exposed to. These should be calculated. We do ours quarterly. And anybody who's showing high levels of radiation or exposure to radiation should be asked to, to not take radiographs for a little while and wait for those numbers to kind of normalize. So just had another variety of gloves over here, one that has fingers in it. This is just personal preference, whether you like the finger gloves or the mitten gloves. I personally like the mitten gloves better. Again, remembering that when you're actually taking the radiograph, you need your fingers to be completely concealed inside that lead lined glove. No cancer fingers. All right, so taking the gear off is also just as important um, and storing it is just as important as the proper way to put your gear on to make sure that you're protected. So like I have said several times, these um, pieces of PPE are all lead lined. So lead actually will crack. So even though these are pretty flexible, if these are stored folded over, they, you'll get cracks in the actual lead which is supposed to be protecting you. You can test these by taking radiographs of your equipment and in the radiographic images, you'll be able to see the cracks in the gear if they do need to be repaired. So when we're storing these, these should always be stored hanging, so on these pegs here and not bunched up on the floor. So with each arm over the pegs so that it's hanging pretty naturally, you want to avoid any tight folding which can create cracks in that lead. Thyroid shields are gonna be where you clip your dosimetry badge to, so as you're taking these off, make sure that you're removing your dosimetry badge and storing them wherever um, storage facilities in your hospital indicate. We store all of our dosimetry badges outside of the radiology suite um, and this reduces the amount of radiation that the dosimetry badge is exposed to when you're not actually with the badge. So if I forget to remove this badge and I have it on the counter over here, it's going to show really high levels of radiation once my radiation is calculated quarterly and that would be kind of alarming for the people who are measuring that for us. My coworker Jess here is modeling some wonderful lead lined glasses that can actually also be used to supplement the PPE that you're wearing when you're taking radiographs. So these glasses are lead lined and they, they're gonna help protect your eyeballs when you're taking those radiographs. All right, so I'm going to talk to you about the importance of actually putting your arm and hand in your gloves and not laying it on top of your hand, even though it's so much easier to hold on to patients. Again, having your fingers exposed out of the gloves like that, you wanna try and keep them as concealed in the lead line gloved as possible. So the importance of wearing the glove completely and not having it cover, cover your hand is to uh, protect you against scatter radiation. So we have radiation we can get two ways from the x-ray machine. Direct beam radiation, which none of, 
none of our body parts should be in the beam. Um, and then scatter radiation. So scatter radiation is exactly what it says. It's radiation that scatters around. So it may scatter and hit the table or hit the plate that's underneath the table and then scatter back up. And if you have your glove on top of your hand, it's going to bounce back from underneath the table or on the cassette down there and then back up to your hand. And then the other thing is these are, again, only meant for scatter radiation. So they're not to, meant to be in the direct beam or in the area where the light is gonna be hitting the x-ray table. That's potentially the direct beam area. Um, what happens is the beam is going to go through the glove slower, and that means that it's going to be absorbed into your hand slower. So just keep your hands, gloved or not, out of the beam. There is um, a trick that I've kind of learned here when working with these mitten type gloves since oftentimes we do need to have a good grip on our patient's limbs when we're trying to get a good radiograph. So it's easiest to grab a hold of your patient with your hand outside of the glove, but then the trick is to sort of, as you're holding that paw, to pull your hand and maybe a little bit of the patient's paw, depending on what kind of radiograph you're trying to get here, into the glove. So I'll stand on this side of Jess and I'll kind of demonstrate if you'll give me your hand. I can actually pull this limb into my glove and now her two fingers are protected, my hand is completely protected and then our image can be taken. Another thing that can be really helpful in um, personal protection when you're taking radiographs is to fully utilize the equipment that you have available. So in patients where it's appropriate, consider using chemical restraint for these patients, making sure that they're nicely sedated. If it's not a possibility to use chemical restraint for your patient for whatever reason, then utilize the rest of your tools. We have lots of different types of troughs is what we call them, or couches here at Dove Lewis. There's a whole range of them from these good old classic style soft couches that are foam here, and they, you have Velcro where you can put a limb through and do a bit of light restraint there. We have trough two, you'd want it to be sitting flat on the table. And then this would be for a VD aspect type of image. So the spine of the animal would lay down here and he'd have his little feet up in the air like he was ready to get a belly rub. Another type of tool that we have here, which I really like using, is called the positioner, which you can see comes in a variety of sizes. And then we have plenty of Velcro straps here as well that can be threaded through in a bunch of different ways to achieve the restraint that you need to get the image that you're looking for for your pet. There are plenty of great videos on how to use the positioner available online as well and through their website. Thank you for joining us on some proper usage of PPE. This is by no means a complete training of proper PPE and safety in radiology. There are many more options that we have out there, but this is some that we use at Dove Lewis. Thank you.